Hey everyone, it's V Jose32 back again with another great tech review. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. And I'm going to be looking at the other two Stephen Rooks cards, and that's the Alchemist decks. There's the original Alchemist deck and the Alchemist X. I'll start with the original. And this is what it looks like it says bicycle on top, Alchemist playing cards on the bottom and there is a skull on it with a couple of angels right above the skull very interesting looking skull I really don't like a whole lot of the skull decks but I figured you know it's not there isn't skulls all over it so I decided to get it and on the side it says Eric Christian Finis made the USA on this side the alchemist deck on the top again it says simply poker on the bottom it says bicycle and there is trademark information and there is a reveal on the bar called seven of spades there it is and on the back you see the back design once again it's really gold colored back design lots of symbols lots of design there's kind of like some stars in these circular shapes there's some skulls along the sides and a bunch of other designs there are angels in the corners it's very unique very different and again it says designed by Stephen Rooks and there's his email address on the bottom in case you're wondering it's a mystic magic at hotmail.com and once again on these decks there are no seals as you can see and the flap there is trademark information and here we have a reveal. I believe that is nine of clubs, or is it six of clubs? I can't tell. <laughs> I guess actually it's six of clubs because you look at six like this and clubs. So six of clubs reveal on there. <coughs> I open it up. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is there is a blank card, and there's the pack design. Very nice. I really like these golden colored back designs on these Rooks cards. And there's also a double backer. So unlike the other Stephen Rooks decks I looked at, there are no gaff cards other than a, well, I mean, there is a blank card and there's a double backer. But there aren't any special gaff cards like the other decks have. The other decks don't have double backers, though. So kind of a bonus, I think, for this one. Faces. Here's your standard bicycle faces. Once again, like the Phoenix deck, there's a lot of gold on the court cards, which is nice. I think it's really nice looking. There's another court card for you. Excuse me. As you can see, the, the cards do handle pretty good. They do spread out right there, you know, kind of standard bicycle stock and finish. Which is always good. Do they fan? Eh, not very well. I, I can understand, you know, this, for this reason, you why know, a lot of people don't seem to like Stephen Brooks or Davioli. I mean, the cards don't fan very well for whatever reason. I don't know if it's the inks they're using. I assume that's what it is. It's the ink they're using or the finish that they're using. Just, you know, the cards kind of stick together and clump. But other than that, you know, they are nice looking decks. They do handle all right. And I mean, I don't do a whole lot of fanning, so I really don't care about the fanning. <laughs> Now here we have the Jokers, they are identical, no reveals, surprisingly for a guy who likes reveals on Park Golds and the Flaps and everything else, they don't have reveals on the Jokers. Jokers are very interesting, I don't even know what they are, but there's a J in each corner, or in the two corners anyways, and there it says Joker on top, and then you get the Joker, like I said, I really have no idea 
It looks like it's got a mouth with teeth. It kind of looks like a chess piece from a chess game. Uh, is it the Rook? Stephen Rooks put in a Rook. I'm not sure if that's what it is. <laughs> but it's very, well, this is what this way. It's very interesting. No idea what it is. Like I said, it looks like a chess piece. <clears throat> or something like that. And then here's the Ace of Spades. Same skull as on the front of the box with the angels. The indice and the spade pip on the indice are different than the rest of the spade pips and the writing. Actually, it's the same as the Phoenix deck, I believe. And it says the Alchemist on top and the United States Point Guard Company, Cincinnati, Ohio on the bottom. And that's what you get with this deck. It, like I said, it's a good deck to have in your collection. And if you don't like fanning or you suck at fanning like me, then and it's not an issue for you, by all means, get the Stephen Brooks decks, you know. And they're definitely nice to have in the collection. And now I will move on to the Alchemist X. As you can see in this one, the colors are reversed. What I mean by that is, the Alchemist X, you got bicycle in white with black background. This one, it's bicycle in black with white backgrounds. This one, the skull, has a white background. This one, it has a black background. And it has a lot more gold around it, and you know, so forth and so forth. The bottom is playing cards and Alchemist X. Same kind of skull. No angels on it this time though. This one had angels on it above the skull. This one does not. But other than that, it's basically the same skull with some slightly different color changes, variations, whatever. This side it says US Playing Card Company. Ah, uh, sorry, it says Ericus Infinis, made in USA not US playing card company my bad on this side it says the alchemist x deck the top once again simply says poker the bottom it says bicycle there is trademark information and there is a reveal on the barcode six of spades there we are and the back design is the same as the Alchemist design, except that it is gold and black as opposed to gold and white, which I think looks fantastic. And again, it says designed by Stephen Rooks, and there's his email address, which I have mentioned before. Open it up, more trademark information on the flap. And over here, again, same reveal, six of clubs. Same as the other one. I think they could have made it a little bit different. The reveal on the bottom is different, so why not the flaps? No. Open it up. There are a couple of gaff cards. The first one is this. A blank card with a fingerprint on it. Very interesting. Now we'll see how you work that into a trick. I'm sure I could come up with something. The back design, as you can see, is exactly the same as on the original album with stack except that it's black and gold and it does have as you can see a double back which I, I'm always a fan of the cards look like this they have black faces the court cards again have a lot of gold on them clubs and spades have white pips as you can see there's another court card for you Hearts and diamonds have red pips. Which is probably the best way to go on a black deck. Now, as you can see, the jokers are the same as the ones in the other deck. Again, no idea what they are. If you know what they are, feel free to comment. Let me know what they are because 
I am just as perplexed as most of you. No idea what they are. And the Ace of Spades, again, the same thing, except it's black and white, and it says the Alchemist on top. Got the same skull. US Point Cloud Company at the bottom, and whatnot. It's all the same. Let's put these into the deck somewhere. And it's pretty out of decks. Fanning is a bit of an issue, at least in my opinion. The other issue that you may or may not notice is the tipping of the black edges. Always an issue with black decks. You can see right there, there's lots of tipping, and I haven't even used it that much. <laughs> Other than that, they do riffle all right. The shuffle is spread relatively nice, so this don't really fan that well. I don't really. Obviously, it's all the ink that goes onto these decks. And or how they were produced by Davioli, they just, you know, don't fan that well. But other than that, you know, I say get them, add them to your collection, use them to do some tricks, just don't fan them, and you'll be fine. Anyway, that's my review on the, on the Stephen Rooks decks. If there are any cards that you want me to review, just let me know, I'll review them. Heck, if you haven't seen my collection videos, check them out. And even if you haven't, just name a deck. I have most decks that have come out recently. I'll be more than happy to review them if you want to. I'm specifically trying to review decks that are less common. But I'm more than happy to review any deck that you want me to review. Alright, and that's all for now. See you next time.